Hello, I'm Paul Dajic, founder of Elastic Steel, method of athletic conditioning. Today I'm going to talk about the rear leg socket. This question came from someone who had a fighting style with the left side or the front side does everything from the front and then the right side does everything from the back and there's no turn. Okay, it's a kickboxing style. This is the way they do it. This person has practiced psychic the way that it's done his style. He tried it the way I do it. He liked it better, but he can't do it with the real legs. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Now, notice there's multiple ways to throw a psychic. And a lot of styles of martial arts start with legs parallel. Leg comes up just like a front kick. The chamber is the same as a front kick. Except for you're not kicking forward. You're going to kick to the side. Boom. You're going to turn above the foot. As the kick is thrown, bring it back, parallel feet as you come down. Okay? One way to do that means that as you're coming up to a kick, the feet are parallel. Another way to do it, I'm going to show on the other side here. As you come up for a kick, the leg will already turn out. Okay? As this leg turns out, chamber comes up. There's not going to be any turning of the foot as the kick comes out. Okay? Kick comes out, there's no turning. As this foot comes down, you turn it. Okay? Of course, you have an option. If you're going to follow up with other kick, you may not turn that foot. Okay? Especially sideline kick. If you think you're going to punch after that, or you know in your mind you're going to punch after that, of course, this foot has to turn out. Because it's difficult, close to impossible to keep punching this way. The second this turns, you can follow up with the hands. Okay? Two ways to throw that side kick. Okay? One is not better than the other. Both are used. You pick whichever one you like. They both have advantages and disadvantages. Okay? So the side kick. Now the question was, this person tried to do a rear leg side kick. Okay? Rear leg side kick with the back leg. And he said, well, you know, something weird is happening. This is what it looks like. Okay? He was doing this. He was getting himself off balance. Okay, I'm going to show with my left leg here. He was getting himself off balance and he wasn't able to kick. Okay, but he was trying to get in the same chamber. That means that he was trying to get here to throw that kick with the rear leg. Okay? Well, the way to do that, the way to throw a rear leg side kick, is actually to come up this way, okay? To come up this way, and then to turn from there. So this would be your original. Boom! You turn. Now you're ready for that kick. You could turn it back if you need to come back to this position. Although this does take a lot of time to do, you might place it down, and then what some styles have is called a return roundhouse or return front kick with the left leg. They're going to throw that and then come back to their fighting position. Okay. So, that, that basically is the way to do it. To come straight up. And if you're going to throw rear leg kicks, okay, I recommend the rear leg kicks all come this way. Whether it's rear leg front kick, rear leg side kick, rear leg right half, I find it sort of awkward to turn back because I don't usually do it. I leave the leg in front. But, some people do turn back, so come up here, let's say rear leg hook kick, you know, I would leave my leg in front and attack with the right leg and rear kick with left leg. Okay, so that was the first question. Second question was, do I find a rear leg psychic useful? Well, I'm not going to say it's not useful, uh, although I don't use it often, except for very few situations I'm going to describe them right now. However, if you go for a rear leg front kick and the person moves a little bit, you need that extra distance and you know how to throw a rear leg side kick. You can turn it into a rear leg side kick, you have that distance. We're talking about inches, not feet. But it makes a difference, okay? So here, if I'm throwing a rear leg front kick against the wall, I don't have that distance. Okay, notice I turned out very well on that front kick to get as much distance as I can. I don't have it. If I'm going to fall into the target, I might, but if I don't take that chance, I don't have it. The same position of my foot, 
I have obviously more distance if I go for the side hit. Okay? So, not that much more, but enough. So if you expect the person to move back or he's already moving back, you might do the turn from that uh, front kick to the side kick. Okay? All the more reasons to come straight through with a really light kick. That's one reason. Another reason, if you want to push somebody back, uh, with a side kick and that is your strong kick, okay? Uh, let's say you're using your left leg as a defense only mainly, you want to push somebody back, you don't want to use front kick for whatever reason, so you would do that. I have in my head, and one would be to learn a flying side kick, two-step flying side kick. One, two, boom. So to do that, you would need a real leg side kick. You would need to learn how to do it before you can do a flying side kick. And finally, a technique that I use sometimes is to cover a lot of distance if I need to push somebody back. Okay? If I need to push somebody back and that person is going to back up anyway, whether you want to push them out of the ring or you want to reach them and you don't want to give away too much, what you going to do? Well, it's a real leg side kick with a hop. Okay, so if I'm here and I'm going to throw a real leg side kick, Okay, without anything, without any hop, I'm barely reaching. This is not enough to hurt somebody or push somebody. Okay, I'm using my foot exactly in the same position. Okay, and now I could step back more, give myself maybe another eight inches or so, and if I use that hop, okay, I came a lot more forward. I managed to shift my body weight more into my target and I covered more distance. So that's another reason I would use the real leg side kick. Okay? So um, that's the question and those are the answers. Thank you for watching. This is the chamber. So she brings the knee up. Now there's the extension. Recoil. And then you place the foot back. comes up in the kicking position. Now watch the knee, watch the see on sideways, the side kick comes out, comes back.
side. 